planet is slowly burning as it suffers from the wrath of heat waves and subsequent forest fires. Conditions have reached such extremes that NASA took to Twitter to release this map highlighting shocking ground temperatures. In fact, in 2020, the Met Office produced a hypothetical weather forecast for 23rd July 2050. 43 to 45 expected around Somerset. On July 19, 2022, the forecast was shockingly almost identical for large parts of the UK. Nearly 28 years early. One major factor behind this is the trapped greenhouse gases caused by human activities. It is turning our blue-green planet red. The highest officially registered temperature was recorded in California Death Valley more than a century ago, 56.7 degrees Celsius. In Africa, the highest temperature was recorded in Kabylie, Tunisia, in 1931, 55 degrees Celsius. But these are standalone events of those years. What we are facing currently is a prolonged sequence of sweltering days or a heat wave. In fact, the heat waves are getting hotter, longer and impacting temperate zones as well. The UK made headlines by beating its previous records multiple times in various places. Before 19 July 2022, the UK had never witnessed temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius. The Met Office had also its first red extreme heat warning, indicating a risk to life, travel, energy supply and infrastructure. Other parts of Europe are also prey to this heat. Parts of France, Spain, Portugal and Greece have crossed 40 degrees Celsius as well. Around 2,000 people have died in Portugal and Spain from heat-related causes in July. Even places such as Tromso and Mayhem above the Arctic Circle touched 30 degrees Celsius by June end. China's infrastructure is also crumbling due to heat waves. Heat waves began in June, broke previous temperature records and are estimated to last till August this year. Channel News Asia also reported that Shanghai and many other cities saw buckling streets and roof tiles popping due to the heat. Japan also recorded above 40 degrees Celsius for the first time ever in June this year. Around 5,000 people were hospitalized and millions were told to conserve power due to surge in demand. First official day of summer. The National Weather Service in the US issued heat warnings and advisories for 28 states, mainly in the South, Midwest, and Northeast. In Nebraska to Texas and Florida. So, the Northern Hemisphere in general is breaking previous heat records by considerable margins and in atypical months. Heat waves have thus become a typical summer event, but climate change is making them globally fearsome and dangerous. In fact, the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, has warned the heat waves will occur more and more frequently into the 2060s. The pattern is linked to the observed warming of the planet that can be attributed to human activity, raising some serious concerns for the planet's future, the UN Weather Agency said. But why are these heat waves occurring so frequently and all over the world? According to Chunzai Wang, a researcher in the Southern Marine Science and Engineering Guangdong Lab told Down to Earth that greenhouse gases can directly and indirectly warm the atmosphere. Chunzai Wang and his team analyzed surface air temperature and atmospheric circulation pattern data from observations to find the causes of extreme heat events. They also used climate models. Let's move to the continent of North America to analyze the direct effect or heat domes. Scientists had previously established that the heat wave was due to a heat dome of high pressure prevailing over western North America. A heat dome is a mountain of warm air pressing down across a huge area. As warm air tries to rise, this high pressure system above pushes the warm air back down to the surface. It becomes denser and hotter as it gets compressed. Atmospheric circulation patterns describe how air flows 
and influences surface air temperatures around the planet. It's called an omega blocking pattern and it gets stuck in the atmosphere. It's a pressure differential. So we'd have two low pressure systems flanking high pressure in the middle. And that high pressure is what gets stuck in place and causes the temperatures to rise. You know, the researchers the identified three atmospheric patterns associated with the heat dome, air, the North Pacific, air, Arctic Pacific Canada and North America. Well, we need some kind of ridge breakdown to happen or a low pressure system to push it out. But Lindsay, that has to be incredibly strong. It takes a while to develop as it moves its way out. This suggests the heat wave originated from the North Pacific and the Arctic, while the North America pattern ushered the heat wave out, Wang explained in a statement. What's more, Simulations also showed that extreme heat wave events would increase by more than 30% in the future, of which almost two thirds could be due to greenhouse gases, according to their results. The indirect effect in the North Atlantic, jet streams. As climate change intensifies, disruptions to traditional global atmospheric circulation systems, such as the jet stream in the Northern Hemisphere, are expected across the planet leading to more frequent and intense extreme climate events. In particular, smaller differences in temperature between the poles and the equator can slow the jet stream, leading to a buildup of high or low pressure weather systems, resulting in more persistent hot dry extremes in mid latitudes. The current heat wave in Europe is linked to a slow moving system in the North Atlantic that allowed hot air from the Sahara to move north. In Pakistan and northern India, the heat wave lasted longer than usual due to a delayed start to the seasonal monsoon. This may become more common in the future as a shifting seasonality of the monsoon is expected with climate change. These are the main causes behind the frequent heat waves in the northern temperate regions in the last few years. This has been further explained in the latest IPCC report that clearly states that climate resilient development is already challenging at current warming levels. It will become more limited if global warming exceeds 1.5 degrees Celsius. In some regions, it will be impossible if global warming exceeds 2 degrees Celsius. This key finding underlines the urgency for climate action focusing on equity and justice, adequate funding, technology transfer, political commitment and partnership will lead to more effective climate change adaptation and emissions reductions.